So today we're going to talk a little bit about what I think is going to be one of the most valuable skills when it comes to the age of AI. And that's really being able to take your ideas that you have for all these AI projects and actually being able to execute them. So there's not going to be any coding in this video. We're not going to talk about anything technical. So if you're a beginner, you're just starting with AI projects. I definitely recommend that you stick around and watch this because this is going to help you define what kind of involvement you want to have in the future as you start building all these cool AI projects. So we're actually going to talk about an example of a current project that I've been working with with one of the other members in my school community and that's just the idea right we had this idea where we went to use Cray AI to generate video content ideas now that may sound pretty straightforward and ideally that would have been easy where we could just set up a crew and say hey give me five video content ideas in AI and to some extent that might have had some good results but it turned out it was going to be a little bit more complicated than that but even before trying it out this idea that we had right here you know there's multiple parts that involve it so we have to move into defining what those tasks are because like any idea anything you want to do it's made up of smaller tasks smaller goals that need to be completed in order for the bigger thing to be done and even at a high level when we look at our tasks right we have three basic tasks that would be creating the crew analyzing the YouTube data and exploring what those ideas are for the video content. And this makes sense, right? Because since we want to use Korea, well, intuitively, we have to set up a crew. We have to figure a way to analyze YouTube data since we want YouTube video ideas. And then, of course, we want to export that data. But even though it's pretty simple, it's still an expanded elaboration on the original idea, which again, the original idea was just create video content from Crew AI. But now we move on to this part, the execution what had to actually be done once it came down to building out the project. Well, first, like I mentioned earlier, we set up a crew. We tried using Crew AI with the current tools that existed. Those didn't work very well, not the scraping tool, not the web search tool. So we had to expand on that. We had to start learning how to create custom tools. We had to create a custom tool that would scrape YouTube data. That custom tool had to make API calls using the YouTube API request. So then a part of that is also setting up your YouTube API key. Then once the request is made, the data has to be processed. Once that data is processed, it had to be formatted in that specific format that we wanted. Once we did all that, we had to analyze the data with our crew AI crew. But then one of the problems we ran into was that there was a lot of data, especially if we were using a lot of comments. So then the data had to be broken up into chunks. And then we had to figure out how to analyze those chunks iteratively. Again, this starts becoming more of a Python thing rather than a crew AI thing. And for all that data we're analyzing, we also have to format it and parse it accordingly. Those results have to be then analyzed and saved to a file. And because we're doing separate analyses at a time, at the end of it all, we have to find a way to put it all together. And even with the list of all these tasks that I'm mentioning right here, this is still a very brief summary of the time it actually took to implement all this. But I think you see the pattern here where an idea starts as a single concept, but as we start defining what that concept is going to take in order to be completed, once we finish at the execution, we pretty much have a very long list of very detailed actions that needed to be completed in order for this thing to be possible. So I know by now you're probably wondering, well, what's that skill that I'm talking about that's going to be so valuable in the age of AI? Well, that skill is going to lie right here in being able to go from idea to being able to define what the tasks are. And maybe that seems a little bit silly to you right now, or maybe it doesn't make a lot of sense, but in the tech world, there's literally job roles dedicated to this. So what project managers do is that whenever the business makes a request for a certain feature, whether it's you know Google that wants a specific new feature under Google Docs or Facebook wants to add a new button to you know their Facebook page or whatever tech company that has developers working for them, the business doesn't go directly to the developers and say, hey, we want this feature, boom, get it done. No, they go to the project managers. It is then the project manager's job to take this idea that the business is giving them or rather this business request and they take this big idea and start breaking it down into actionable tasks. What are all the steps that the developer is going to need in order to finalize this idea or business request. And that's pretty much the workflow for a lot of these tech companies. The business makes a request, they send it to the project managers. The project managers then go down and start writing out the details of all the things that need to be done in order to complete the bigger task. And once they have that better defined, they will then pass that on to the developers. This way, instead of giving the developers a really big task that has to be completed within a long time frame, they're then given smaller tasks that can be completed two weeks at a time, one week at a time, depending on how long your sprints are. And the other benefit of this is that it helps you track progress more accurately and it really helps build out momentum, especially if you have a challenging task that you have to do. Because you really want to get to a point where you want to be able to figure out 
what all these tasks are going to be before any of the work starts because the smaller the pieces that you can break down this big idea into the more time that the developer is going to be able to spend in actually making the thing rather than trying to figure out what the next steps are and even if the project manager doesn't have a lot of technical expertise a lot of these requests can be figured out by collaborating both the developer with the project manager in either meetings or you know video calls or whatever it is that you want to do to collaborate because at this point the project manager can take this big idea, discuss it with the developer, and this is where the developer is going to ask questions about what the specific needs are, what is the expectation, is there a certain way that needs to be done, or certain technologies that need to be used. But in these conversations is where they're able to understand what all the moving parts are going to be and what the challenges are when it comes to building this thing. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you're trying to get into the tech career or you're trying to dive deeper into the AI world and maybe you're not loving all the coding and developing part of it, maybe the technology doesn't seem like your cup of tea, there's definitely going to be a lot of opportunities and room for career growth as a project manager. Now, this is something I had never heard of until I got into the tech industry, but definitely if you're somebody that likes to be organized, knows how to ask questions, knows how to communicate well, and likes to collaborate with others, I definitely say that you'd look a little more into these career paths of project management, or maybe you're already a developer and just get kind of overwhelmed with a lot of the things you want to work on because maybe you're just not breaking them down into smaller chunks that you could make a little bit of progress in one day at a time or vice versa. You're somebody with a lot of business ideas and sometimes you have a little bit of trouble conveying the value in those ideas to maybe either another developer. Developing software, developing tools is a big task. So the more people that you can find to collaborate with, with these type of projects, the smoother the process is going to be and the faster your idea is going to be executed. So if you're looking to learn more about AI or want to find other people to share these kind of ideas with, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can join my school community. And that's where you'll be able to find other people that are just as interested and just as excited about AI as you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.